Hi, I'm Amanda and I'm here to answer this question or rather share my opinion on it. This is and has been a hot topic in the art community for a while and there are many that will say expensive art supplies are not needed and that they will prove it too with their beautiful artworks, with cheap Crayola markers. I'm looking at you, Sam Be Awesome. Yes, Sam Be Awesome and many other artists in the community can make beautiful artworks with cheap art supplies. And I am not saying that this is a bad thing. This is awesome. But I would like to argue the point that I firmly believe that artist quality art supplies are needed. And I say artist quality art supplies mixed in with expensive because generally, usually art supply that are artist quality are a lot more expensive than you know cheap student quality grade or less art supplies so I do however think that learning how to pick your cheap art supplies goes a long way you could get away with using cheap art supplies for the rest of your life if you know what's good there are certain companies online that will claim that their art supplies are premium or artist quality and they are just nowhere near the quality they claim they usually come in overwhelming colors promising light fastness and archival body goodness but it's all lies. Do not buy these sets. I have had so many sets on Amazon or from friends and family that don't know anything about art that it's just rubbish and it's just trash and there's no point in spending your money on these supplies. Now, on the topic of art supplies that don't claim these things but are cheap and are geared more towards learners, you know, people that can't afford art supplies, students, that kind of thing, there are a bunch of them out there that are actually really good quality, like Hime Gouache, for example, which I'm using now in this little clip that you can see. They are currently, as of right now, $28.99 on Amazon for 24 colours in 30ml tubs. Whereas the Holbein gouache that I am comparing it to, and I say that with quotation marks in my hand, um, because you can't really compare these kinds of art supplies. I believe that you can compare compare Holbein with Schmincke or Holbein with Winsor Newton, but you can't compare Hemi gouache with Holbein. Anyway, these that I'm going to be using later on in the video were £25 on Jackson's for five tubes at 15 mil. So you're getting significantly less paint there. However, I do believe that it's important to spend money on the right thing. Obviously, you're spending $28.99 on Hemi gouache that will last you a very, very long time. There's a lot of paint in there, a lot of colours, but it's overwhelming. I don't even use half the colours. I feel like most of it is going to waste and to use half the colours I tend to mix a lot and with Hemi gouache they're not pure pigments so you are mixing colours that have already been mixed together with other colours and there might be incompatible colours in these mixes that you don't know about because who knows what kind of colours these have been uh, or what kind of pigments sorry have been to uh, have been mixed to use these. I'm really sorry if that was confusing. I, uh, my words, I need to take this in one take because I literally have 10, 15 minutes to record this and it's a much longer video than that. So we need to power on and get through this. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that yes, you are getting a lot of paint for cheaper, but it's not as good an experience as what you will get with Holbein gouache. And yes, you will have to buy more and it is a little bit more expensive, maybe in the long run. But I do believe that £25 for five tubes, 15 mil will last you a long time if you use it correctly. And if you are willing to, uh, you know... <laughs> Take the time and the effort to actually learn how to use your supplies. Now, there are Hemi gouache sets on Amazon that are much cheaper for less colours, which I would actually encourage you to get, even though you're not getting as much and the value for money seems to be a little off because I think there's one for 12 colours for 16 99 and you'd still be like, well, I'd rather spend 30 quid and get loads of colours, but no. 
try and get the least amount of colours as possible and practice with those. I like my Hema Gouache set but I do believe I have too many colours. Like if I just picked a certain amount of colours and used them uh, and not had to use all of the colours in the actual set then I think I would be happy but because they get so muddy so quickly even if you um, mix only a few colours and they just are not fun to work with. They're very patchy. I don't know if you can see but they're so hard to blend. They are very very easy to wet and to use because they lay down should I say because they are so liquidy but they're also really dry. I don't <laughs> basically you have to use a lot more paint to get the di desired effect and in the end I actually prefer the Hemi Gouache donut to the Holbein donut but um, the Holbein one is a lot cleaner and nicer and I think it's easier to get cleaner and nicer textures with that. Some people like the patchy texture but I believe that you can make a texture that you like with Holbein gouache. It's just harder because it's not meant to be patchy if you get what I mean and make it look nicer than the patchiness because it looks like that that's just meant to be or that it's rushed and it's not supposed to be like that it's it looks patchy it looks bad whereas the other one looks really neat and clean you'll see it soon but yeah I just think that it's really important to start with as high and expensive art supplies as you can afford at the time like if you can afford at least four to five Jackson's art um Holbein gouache or any gouache that's cheaper than that but not cheap cheap quality <laughs> like actual brands you know like Windsor Newton, for example. Windsor Newton are a very, very high brand, but they're also quite cheap and you can get away with using those kind of colours. So, you know, you don't have to go completely high end, but somewhere in the middle and you don't need to go completely low end either. Hemi Gouache is a good option and I'm not saying that they're a bad company or they're bad quality supplies because they're definitely not. It's just that it's easier as an artist to use supplies that are a lot more expensive they go on a lot better they go a lot longer way as well they last a lot longer time and they're just more pleasant to use it's, it's just not even it's not even a competition with how easy they are to use and how well that they perform Hemi Gouache goes on really silky, butterly smooth, but it dries so matte and so nice and it actually takes coloured pencils really well and other stuff like that. Whereas Hemi Gouache is a little bit more so-so. It's quite hard to layer things on top of it compared to Holbein. And I'm being really nitpicky here. You can absolutely use other supplies with Holbein Gouache, but I just find it easier to use the um, oh sorry Hemi. Hemi and Holbein. I probably shouldn't have chose Holbein because I keep getting them too mixed up and I'm really sorry about the quality of the um, light in here. It goes whack for a little bit. The sun comes in and out a few times and I don't notice so I'm just like deeply in this painting situation so I'm hoping that you know it 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 chills out. <laughs> I actually tried to slow it down rather than speed it up so that it was less annoying for you to look at because if I sped it up anymore then it would be just chopping and changing with light to dark so it's going to stay quite light for a while. I'm really sorry at the top there but I hope that you can just maybe look away and listen to my voice and come back later because it does get better. <laughs> Even though I have not planned the talking part of this video very well because I uh, didn't want to waste time on bullet points because I don't have enough time. So, yeah. <laughs> now I'm like, oh my God, I've lost my train of thought. I don't know what I was talking about. But basically, what I want to say is that I love a cheap art supply and I do think that they have a place. But in my world, I don't think so. I think that my advice is to buy as expensive as you can go as quickly as possible and just skip the whole 
cheap art supply thing. Like I said, there are artists out there that love cheap art supplies and prefer them to um, professional art supplies. And I would say that you would have to experiment a lot. I have experimented a lot in my life. I, I can't say that I just went straight from cheap to expensive because for the first good 10 years of my art life, I didn't know that there was such a thing as expensive versus cheap. I just thought that all art supplies were the same quality. Like, you know, those little Reeves watercolour paints that you get in school when you first start... Well, I don't know if all schools do this, but my school gave us a little Reeves watercolour set and I'm so sad that I've lost that now or, or that I got rid of it. But I got rid of quite a lot of supplies because I don't like to hoard and I like to use the supplies that I like. So I did get rid of them, but... Um, I thought that all supply, all art supplies were like that. I thought that you didn't get a different quality of supply, which is complete bull. You, of course, you get different qualities of supplies. Like I thought that the sketchbook that I had, the Reeves watercolor paints that I had, the paint brushes that I had that had their bristles falling out all the time, was it? Like I thought that that's all you could have, and I actually gave up because of this. I thought that I wasn't into art as much because I just didn't get on with the supplies. I was struggling so much to make the pictures that I wanted to make in my mind because of the supplies. Now there are ways around that. You can obviously get more decent paper and less good paints or more decent paints and less good brushes but I would say that It is important to get things that you like to use. It doesn't necessarily have to be cheap or expensive but if you like using it and it was a certain price then yay of course you're going to use it and of course you're going to not care whether it was expensive or not like the set of brushes that I am using are actually not that expensive here here I am like oh I want to argue the point that expensive art supplies are important and they should be used and cheap art supplies can get in the bin and I'm using a set of brushes that were like I don't know how much they were, like a tenner for 20 brushes or something. It's difficult because there are a lot of people that cannot afford to buy art supplies. But I would say that everybody earns money at some point in their life, even if they are skint and don't have a job. Save that money up. If you really want to get something, you will find the means. And, uh, you know, birthdays, stuff like that. Um it's quite easy to acquire things that you want eventually in life and if you can afford a coffee or I don't know anything else (laughs) a can of cola a McDonald's something if you can afford those you definitely can afford art supplies that will be good for you um So I don't know if this actual comparison is a good comparison, especially because I am rushing as I am going away to Wales uh, tomorrow. Uh, So I am trying to get this video as soon as possible because I've just came back to YouTube and I, again, for the like third time and I don't want to delay this video. So I'm trying to get it out, uh, which has caused me to put out a video that's not as good quality as I would like because of this whole light situation. Like... I've been doing YouTube for like eight years and I'm still unaware that the light changes. (laughs) Like, what is that? I don't know. I was just enjoying painting, okay? I was watching Orange is the New Black again uh, on Netflix and I was just painting away and I did this yesterday too. Um, I painted a video, or sorry, I painted a painting in my sketchbook exactly like this. No, it wasn't. There was three donuts and then another three donuts. There was six donuts, if you can count. And it's in my sketchbook. So you'll see it in my sketchbook tour, which I am going to do as soon as I finish the sketchbook. But um, there was six sketch, uh, six donuts and I compared Kimi Gouache to Holbein. But then I didn't like the footage because of the light. And then I decided to redo it today. And the same thing happened. The lighting died. I don't know whether I should put my uh, camera on manual. Uh, No, not manual. Automatic. So that it automatically adjusts the settings. Or if I should just shut my curtains. Which I think shutting my curtains is the best way to go. And just putting the lights on inside. But then if I have my light on 
and I'm trying to watch Orange is the New Black on my telly, it's really hard to see it because of the reflections. <laughs> so there's a big struggle there. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm painting this donut. I'm using a whole big wash. I'm using a uh, Hannah Muller sketchbook. It's an A4 sketchbook. I got it from a local art shop from uh, the Edinburgh art shop. I say local, I don't live in Edinburgh. I had to get a train for 25 minutes to go to Edinburgh to get this. And uh, I decided that I wanted to support um, shops, like actual shops. I love going into shops and buying things. And I knew that this was here. So I went all the way there to get this sketchbook and I got it. Um, I will say that I am using Windsor and Newton white paint for the Holbein side and possibly the Hume gouache side I think I may have dumped oh no it's not sorry it is artful I'm using artful white in the Hume gouache side um, which is still quite cheap art supplies like I got the whole box for £35 and there was a lot of stuff in it so yeah still cheap cheap art supplies so that doesn't count but I will say it's quite impressive the white is quite impressive and to be honest the whole set is imp impressive it's just that I don't know I just like using more expensive art supplies and obviously if you're gonna be making a career out of this and selling your art you want the highest quality possible art supplies you can have because otherwise you're gonna get in trouble if you're trying to sell art supplies that doesn't last that aren't archival or aren't good and a lot of my paintings that I've done with Hume Gouache are just so dull and muddy and I get frustrated because I do like the whole muted vibes like the muted tones vibes but there's a point where it looks good and a point where it looks like a mistake like you've just mixed dark burnt umber into everything um which to be honest that is the way that I darken most of my colors however recently I have been trying to use a medium color and um or rather yeah no a dark color so a really saturated dark color and then adding uh, white to it or not white but a lighter color like if it was a green for example I would add yellow to make it lighter rather than white because white and umber dark umber do muddy the colors quite a lot so like for this a pink for example in the Hume gouache set there is a light pink a medium pink and a dark pink I think I used the dark pink and added the light pink to it to make a medium pink and then I used the light pink and the dark pink instead of adding burnt umber to it so that it makes it a lot brighter rather than muted if you get what I mean uh, and then I did the same for the uh, I was gonna say I did the same for the donut part itself but I didn't I used burnt umber because that's a really nice brown I think I used burnt sienna burnt umber and white for those but I'm trying to avoid putting white and burnt umber in my paintings a lot but obviously I'm there's still a place for that and also I like to I like to mix my own burnt umber with um all the colors in <laughs> the primary set the blue the red and the um, yellow. You can tell I haven't talked to the microphone for that long in a while. I'm sorry. So yeah, that's basically what's uh, happening. Um, tell me what you think in the comments below. Is there a place for expensive art supplies? There's probably so much that I haven't said that I mean that I've meant to say. So I'll have a discussion in the comments with you below if there's anything else that I need to say and um, obviously you can tell me in the comments below as well do you think that there's a place for cheap art supplies do you like cheap art supplies do you use them I tend to avoid them however I do use them when possible because one 
I have this Hemi gouache set, which I feel really guilty about because there's so much paint. You can't obviously see it, but if you look it up on Amazon, it's 24 colours. Um, there's a lot of paint there and I just feel guilty because I know for a fact that I'm not going to use all this paint and I don't really want to. I would prefer to practice in my sketchbook with my Hemi gouache, uh, sorry, my Holbein gouache or my Windsor Newton gouache. I don't really want to practice with a Hemi gouache because I don't like using it. Whereas I think it's so much easier to use the other art supplies in my life. And I want to use those art supplies and take advantage of the, that kind of stuff. But unfortunately, I can't really give this set away. I mean, I could, but who am I going to give it to? <laughs> I don't have any friends. No, <laughs> I don't have people that would benefit from this. I don't think that I could give this to. So I'm probably not going to do that. But maybe my son might like it. Who knows? Um... However, I'm just going to keep using it, I guess. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think I might, what I might do is make sets out of it. So rearrange the colours so that I could use um, a set of four or five colours and only use those colour colours rather than mixing it up and using all of them. I think that could be a good idea. Um, however, I do like to dip into the darker blues if I want to add or make it a darker colour. See, this is the thing. The reason why I like just buying five Holbein gouaches or five Winsor Newton gouaches or whatever is because I can literally make any colour under the sun with those five colours. Whereas with the... Wow, that is bright. What is happening? I think there's something spiritual going on here. <laughs> Why would I get that bright? <laughs> no, it's the sun. The sun moves around my window. Comes in and out of the clouds, you know. What was I saying? I don't know. But <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this. Oh yeah, sets and stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Do you have any opinions on what I could do in the comments about this set like I said I, I don't like having excess things in my house I like things to be quite simple and I think with my brain I actually use it more if it's simple and having different types of gouache to use even having the artful the Hemi the Holbein and the Windsor and Newton gouache is too much for me. I would rather just have the four or five colours that I use because I hate adding different colours in, but then I feel guilty about not using them. Like I have an olive green in Holbein and that is a beautiful colour and I would love to use that colour, but I would rather just mix my own olive green. I don't need an, I don't need an extra olive green and it's just a waste of money. Like, there's no point in me having these extra colours because I don't like them. And you can you, you can mix it yourself. I guess if you're not good at mixing, then it's good to have a baseline to go off of and then you can add in darker or lighter colours to that colour that's been mixed. But I just think that it's important to learn colour theory yourself because then you won't have as stress. Like, I actually find making colours from multiple colours harder than making colours from a few. It's harder to get the colour that you want when you have loads to pick from because you're like adding in a bit of this. I've done a colour chart for Hemi Gouache but there's too many. Too many to understand, too many to remember if you mix this with this then this will go this colour. There's just too many whereas if you do a colour chart with five colours you can see exactly what you can make really quickly and you obviously learn it quicker because there's only five colours to remember. You can remember a lot more of what you put into the mixture if you only have that amount of colours. Which goes under the whole expensive versus cheap as well. Yes, they are expensive, but there's only five of them. So, five, or, uh, five pound? A fiver of them at five pound? It's fine. What? No. <laughs> five of them at five pound each. Yeah. Is um 
is not that expensive when you think about it, especially since I've had these whole bean gouaches or gouache. What's the plural of gouache? Gouaches? Gouache? I've had them for years. And maybe, yes, that's because I don't do as much art as I would like, but um, I still think even if I did art regularly, I wouldn't go through them as much. However, I am going through the yellow like mad because the yellow comes out so quickly. I think it's because it's actually a primary yellow. We, and I think that you need to you need to splash out on, on your yellow, I think, because it's so watery and runny. Whereas I think if I got a cadmium yellow, which is actually £8.50 in these sets, um, I think that I would have a much better time. Oh, there we go, better. Okay, good. <laughs> it might only last a few seconds. But yeah, I do believe that you have to splash out. But that yellow is quite opaque, the primary yellow. It just, I go through a lot of it because it's not as thick. And I think that um, I would go through less of it if, it was thicker, I don't know. But I've got a Naples yellow in there too. There's so many colours that I've got on Holbein that I'm not going to use. And it's quite upsetting actually. Like I said, I just don't like having extra supplies. I think it's easier to have less supplies. And in the short term or the long term or whatever you want to say, I don't know. You, you don't spend as much money as you think when you've got expensive art supplies because they last longer. Like... It, Kimi gouache is annoying as well because every time you get it out, if you haven't used it in months, you got to go through and add drops of water and mix it up with a toothpick and it takes absolutely forever. I had to do that a couple of weeks ago when I first cracked these out again because I hadn't used them in months and they were dry. But I suppose they are revitalised now and usable. Um, whereas with less cheap art supplies they are so easy to re-wet I hadn't used my palette my wooden palette where I've got my Hemi gouache on for um I would like to say four months and they were so easy to re-wet and they still were quite creamy and buttery whereas when you re-wet gouache Hemi gouache cheaper gouache it becomes bubbly and annoying um the uh, hemi gouache is quite bubbly and it just gets really annoying to work with. So I think the conclusion to my thoughts about this is I prefer expensive art supplies. Do what you want, get what you want, be happy, make art, doesn't matter. But in my opinion, I like more expensive art supplies. And I do believe that a lot of people should give it a chance. I can't believe the brightness of this right now. I, I was going to try and fix it, but you know what? It's just, it was too much. I'm sorry. I, I got to go get my husband, who's not my husband anymore. He's not, what? No. What am I saying? He's never been my husband. I've got to go and get Matt, who is my partner in life. He's We're not married, um, but we've been together for 11 years. Uh, I've got to go get him in about six minutes. So I actually timed this pretty well, but I also have to render it and upload it. So let's hope that we can do that without too much trouble, because this got to go live in like an hour. Um, and I've got to put my other one live in an hour too. But anyway, I'm going to show you an end product here. A little bit of a close-up. I show you the Holbein one first for some reason. I hope that you enjoyed the video. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.